the objects you have will be infinitely more flexible. A chair will morph into a chaise or anything else you want through a new technology known as Claytronics. Claytronics is essentially going to create a new media type. Way back from the telephone, we've had audio, which allowed us to send voice. And then we had video, which allowed us to send voice and pictures. So with Claytronics, the idea is we could send not just sound and picture, but actually the 3D shape itself. Seth Goldstein, a professor at Carnegie Mellon, is one of the developers of Claytronics. Claytronics is a form of programmable matter. It's a collection of sub-millimeter computers, essentially. These tiny programmable computers are called CADAMs, Claytronic atoms. Just like atoms are the building blocks of everything in the universe, CADAMs are the basic units of Claytronics. Put enough of these CADAMs together, give them a command, and they can assemble themselves into just about anything you want. Imagine that each one of these little pieces of lead is a CADAM, a Claytronic atom. So it's a computer that can move around, communicate with other computers, change its color, and then it works together with all the other units to perform some global effect. One of the challenges of Claytronics is keeping these mini computers attached to one another. In all of these robots, we're using electrostatic forces to hold the robots together. This is the same uh, kind of thing that happens when you take a balloon and you rub it on your hair and you put it on the wall. Then there's the challenge of figuring out the right program. One of the ways to view the programming problem of Claytronics is how we get what I call ensemble behavior. Getting all of the individual units to cooperate together to perform a global task. If Professor Goldstein can pull it off, the results will be amazing. The objects made out of Claytronics will be able to form lots of different shapes. And the more of these mini computers there are, the larger the objects that can be manipulated. That's how your furniture will be able to do double duty, adapting to your needs. With Claytronics, the art on your walls could be changed depending upon your mood. Your cell phone could turn into a laptop, and when your work is done, back into a phone. But its most extraordinary application is how Claytronics might revolutionize communication. One of the main goals of Claytronics is to improve human-to-human -human communication even when the two people aren't in the same room. So you can imagine having a call in the future where you pick up your phone and you dial someone and instead of just hearing their voice, you see them sitting across from you. Of course, they're made out of Claytronics. They're still where they were originally. And that way you can have a very real experience of being in the same place with somebody. It's voice, picture, and touch.